Ladies and gentlemen, this is Snow White's Poison Apple. That's my boy Tana, new mixologist in the house, and he's bringing it. Okay, this is his creation for Falernum. That's Falernum that he spiced up a little differently. Apple infused gin. Mm-hmm. And come behind that with just some fresh squeezed apple juice. No joke. Okay, that's fresh apple juice. And then we hit it with a little bit of egg white. All the comments are gonna go, oh my god, I don't want salmonella. You're not gonna get salmonella, man. These pasteurized eggs, we're good to go. All right, salmonella on the outside of the egg, not in it. Okay, shake, 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 shake. We strain our drink into a glass. Okay, that was a dry shake. Notice, remember now, you have to shake twice with ice, I mean with, with egg whites. Shake it once without the ice, once with the ice, in any order you like. Strain it into our glass, beautiful. Add a little bit of ginger ale. Okay, and now he is using a coaster to kind of line up his cinnamon. Create a little design on top. You see, that's how he gets the straight edges. Awesome. Put on a cinnamon spiral. And there you have it, Snow White's Poison Apple. That's right, my boy here killed Snow White, okay? <laughs> and we're using apple infused gin. How'd you do this one? So this one, I actually um, rapid infused. I took some apples and threw it in an Issy Whipper with some gin and then shook it up with some nitrous and then took really You're smoke. talking the, whip, the, the big whipped cream canisters? Yeah, the little whipped cream yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And so I strained out the gas and then strained it out and it came out delicious. Mm. As well as the cocktail. It's really apple I like it, man. Yeah. It's got mm. some nice fall flavors in there. It's mm -hmm. and, this, and this is a fall falernum you call? Fall falernum, so it's got uh, walnuts and cinnamon as opposed to your traditional almonds and cloves. And with a little lime juice and rum, quite tasty. Guys, those subtle changes make a huge difference in the way it drinks taste, okay? All right? Not my drinks, because I just throw everything in. I ain't got time for that. But when you're talking about technique and smoothness, this, right, this is really smooth, you know? Yeah, it's nice, smooth, easy to drink, because that frothiness as well. And as, as you drink it, like you smell in the, um, the, uh, the cinnamon? Yeah. Yeah, like you, you take it in the cinnamon, so you get, uh, it, you know, it's like, it's this time of year, okay? It is. When we all come together time. and drink up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. And that is? And so this is some fresh apple juice. We did some red and green apples. Okay, so you just, lime. so okay, how, how would you get this fresh apple juice? How would you make it? So yeah. we skinned apples. So skin, skin them. Skin them. Core them. Core them. Throw them in a blender, mm -hmm. let them blend up. Um, I added a little bit of lime juice to kind of preserve it and give it that extra lime flavor. And then we just strained it through a chinois. Okay, yeah. and then you come up with this. Let me come up with this, yes. See how deep these dudes go? They put time and effort into a drink. This drink right here, yes. $250, okay? I'm just saying. They probably sell it for 50. They probably sell it for 50 and 20, but $250 worth of work went into this, all right? Yes. So be thankful that you have some apples in your life. Go check out my boy Tano on Instagram at the barologist, okay? You got some drinks on there. Check just him a few. out. Just a few. Check it out. <laughs> you had fun? Absolutely. All right, bye. Stay tipsy, my friends. <laughs>